G'day. In today's video, I'm opening up a Dell Inspiron. This one has the model number P106F. Well, the reg type is also 001 at the end of that. And I'm going to be opening this up to take out the NVMe drive to do a backup on it. This particular one has a failed mainboard. So to begin with, I'm going to need a small triple zero Phillips head screwdriver. Maybe I'd potentially use a larger one but I'm going to be using this particular one as it fits quite well and I've already got it here in front of me. I will let you know if any of these screw sizes are different as I go through taking them out. And while we're here, we'll also see what can be upgraded. These ones at the back here don't actually come out as I'm undoing that, it's lifting the back plastic. So if I go through and continue taking out the rest of these, Now this is a model I can't say I've seen too much of, so I'm curious to see what we'll find when we open it up. Same here, that's just lifted up that corner, and this should hopefully lift up the middle here. Nope. As we can see, all those screws are the same size, so no, no real concerns there. Put them aside for now, and continue on. Now with that opening up at the back, that is where I'm going to start my opening of the laptop. As you can see down here, we have now have a bit of a gap. That's something to work with. From here, I'm going to use a plastic pry tool. This one, I should be able to slide around. You have to use an old bank card. There we go. Look around. Go around this way. It's being fairly stubborn, but we are making progress. There we go. Now should be the lift from the front to the back. Not quite. I'll do that screw a few more times just in case. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to spin this around. That's the right way up for me. Probably the wrong way for you guys. Strangely, we are on. I don't want this on. What are we going to do? We're going to kill the battery. So if you want to upgrade the RAM in here or the NVMe drive, I would recommend to disconnect the battery, which is located down here. You should be able to put two fingertips over the edge and pull it towards you, like that. That should come out. It should come out just like that. So one, two, pull. Looking over here, we have one dim slot, we have two dim slot. Let's say you want to upgrade the RAM, you've only got a single stick of RAM in there. These bits here, pull out to the side, and it should fold up like so. Like that. And then from there, you can grab that out. Let's see what we have. We have 8 gig stick of 3200 megahertz DDR3. There you go. And the reinstallation of it's quite simple. There's a little notch taken out here. Align that with where it is on the dim slot. For me, it's along here. So if I go in on about a 35 degree angle and push it in all the way, then push down, that's now installed. We're able to do the exact same over here. Looks like we have a wireless card hidden underneath here. Oh, actually, tell a lie. What may we have here? We may have an alternative NVMe slot. Take this out, lift that up. We do. So we have a thermal pad here to make contact on the SSD or NVMe. And basically we can use a half height one similar to what's over, over here and use it in here. So once that's pushed in at 45 degree angle with the notch in the correct location, Put the cover back over. Figure out which way it may go. Oh, go to the front of the back or back to the front. Neither way it seemed to be working here. Not 
I'm going to latch it and push it down. There we go. I'm going to latch it over on one side. Screw that down like so. We have the wireless card over here, which in this particular one, we have a, uh, where are we? We've got AX201NGW. That I think may be an Intel, well, it says Intel model. And looking over here, we have one NVMe drive. It does look like we could put a larger NVMe if we do so choose. It does look a bit strange here, so let's take this one out. That kind of lifts up and just pulls out. My screw has just kind of disappeared on me. Not very handy. There it is. One screw, put that aside. And we have a, I can't actually pronounce the brand, K-O-I-O-X-I-A, 512 gig SSD, or MDMA SSD. And I'm gonna just do a backup on this one. So the current NVMe drive is a 2230, but if we lift this up, we have this bit here, which can be moved over to here. So from what it looks like is this slides either backwards or forwards and should pop out from there. Slide forwards, this bit's pushed down, that pushes forward, and we'll be able to slide it back this way to lock it in to use a larger, more common, 2280 NVMe. So with the battery still connect, disconnected, I'm going to reconnect the NVMe, which goes like this. Oh, sorry. The notches match up. Put it in about a 35 degree angle. Push it in, push down. Screw it into position. If you are replacing an NVMe drive, you may need to reinstall Windows or clone it prior. So typically, if you change it, Probably do it at the start before you really start using the machine. And then you can just do a fresh reinstall of Windows 10 or 11. Pretty much from here, I'm going to be right to reconnect the battery. It should be a matter of lining it up down here. Pushing in and pushing it in both sides. It's pretty much in right there. So from here, we're going to put the back cover or bottom cover back on. Should be a matter of lining it up where it should. We'll start by pushing down at the front here. There we go. Once we're mostly clicked in like that, put these two screws in here and then proceed to put the rest back in. So it's drawn it down, push it in, should click. Same with the other side, probably going to do exactly the same right there. Screw that in. There we go. There we go. And with the remaining screws, just put them into the locations that are free. They're all of the same length, so there's really no concern of where you're actually placing them. If you are missing screws, try and go to aim for the corners first before you go to the middle sections. I find that usually works better. But anyway, I hope this helps you upgrade your Dell, and I'm going to see you guys in another video. Bye.